Twas the month before Christmas, and all through the land, Barry Waymiller and its companies were busy gathering cans. A challenge had been issued to its companies far and wide. Let's all gather food in a massive food drive. But just collecting food items wasn't all it would be. Let's go build food monuments was the final decree. Cash for a favorite charity for the monument deemed best. And bragging rights, of course, to show theirs was above all the rest. We decided that we were gonna challenge all of the other locations to build a better monument than us and uh, it really got huge fast. And they were really kind of excited about acting as a lead and getting the rest of our company involved in um, enriching our community outside of PCMC. This event is for the kids and the needy and anything to help those less fortunate and to see the smile on their faces when they can have a good Christmas and a good holiday like everyone else. So the team set about to build a shrine of donations with cereal, beans, and pasta, even licorice and libations. They collected crackers and cookies, mixed veggies and more, rice aroni and ramen, and green beans galore. On mac and cheese, cream corn, on beets and potatoes, give me veg all and chicken soup, and sauce from tomatoes. A bridge of spaghetti, an arch spanned by juice, a road paved with pinto beans, with cars on the loose. One team made a pie with whipped cream for St. Nick. With this fork, he'll undoubtedly not miss a lick. In this food living room, there's a tree that will thrill and a chili bean fireplace to take off the chill. Another team chose to create a rock face. For the man of the mountain, many cans did they place. Tall pillars of crackers flanked this Indian shrine with a courtyard of veggies rounding out its design. Shining light on the needy was this team's goal, no doubt. So they fashioned a 10-foot working lamp, made mostly of kraut. Is it a truck made of food? Or is it a can-powered car? No Barry Waymiller event is complete without a beloved SSR. Almost time for the playoffs in the Stadium of Soup. Lots of team spirit showed by this passionate group. If your computer is made of food, must you eat through your lunch? What can-do attitude displayed by this enterprising bunch? Team effort and dedication created this winter wonderland. From the treetop to Santa's train, this constructions can grand. From the west to the east, Barry Waymiller teams gave their best so that others might benefit from all with which we are blessed. More than five tons of food was collected this season. Finding ways to touch lives remains our driving reason. What we've seen in the last year is about a 30% bump in the number of people going to food pantries and soup kitchens, and it's particularly grown in the senior citizen group and with middle class families with children. And that's why it's so important to get this variety of healthy food into the food banks. I mean, the, the people that end up receiving this, the, all the people that participated and the, and the feelings you know, that they got out of doing this, it's, it's just a, a huge generator of good. The 10 foot tall lamp was called the best display, but the real winners, we know, are those who won't go hungry today. So hats off to all our food teams. Your efforts shined a bright light. Many thanks for your leadership and to all a good night.